a chick in it and make her lame and gay. That is the Hollywood narrative, as South Park brilliantly called out. And, of course, the fans have been calling this out for a long time. And now we get this crazy announcement of the Silver Surfer being female in the Fantastic Four. Because, of course, that's what they're going to do. Of course, that's the narrative. And I love this article right here from Yahoo that I screenshotted. And it says, please be normal about Julia Garner playing Silver Surfer. Oh, we will absolutely be normal because being normal is calling this exactly what it is. Absolutely retarded. So, yes, normality will definitely be part of this equation. And, I mean, this is just so dumb. Um, if you go over to the Geeks and Gamers post right here, you can just see the comment section. Um, people are not happy about this because, of course, they're not. Um, Valiant Renegade had a really good tweet on uh, the Geeking Era's post, and he says, uh, okay, jokes aside, Julia Garner is an absolutely outstanding actress. Her performances in Ozark as Anna Delvey uh, were just superb, but casting her as a gender swap silver surfer, and don't you dare come at me, but, 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 but with the comic books did this bullshit, uh, is about the most most asinine thing ever. Disney and Kevin Feige are about to destroy this lady's career. Disney is proceeding full tilt with sodomizing fans and losing billions of shareholder capital for the message. The retards that voted for Bob Iger's puppet board today are going to get exactly what they asked for. Elections have consequences, and I personally will be here uh, to chronicle the continued implosion of Bob Iger, who laughably gaslit investors that story will come first on the same day that garbage like like this drops. Disney is a damned joke. And that pretty much sums up the whole situation right there. Brilliantly said by Valiant Renegade. Because, again, you have to understand, none of this is going to get better. It really isn't. And this is why I've checked out on so many of these properties uh, and everything like that. Obviously, we're going to cover a lot of these things because, um, you know, our, our audience expects us to do that. Um, there are shows that I know a lot of people want me to cover personally. Uh, I don't have the passion or the interest for a lot of the stuff that they're doing, whether it be movies or television shows anymore. When I was covering Disney Star Wars consistently or covering the Marvel Cinematic Universe consistently, I genuinely, I genuinely felt like that something could change if there was enough people speaking out against it. And around 2019, when the last, uh, I'm sorry, when the, the Rise of Skywalker came out, and it lost over 50% of the audience, and it ended up pissing everyone off. The people that liked The Last Jedi hated that movie, and obviously real Star Wars fans hated that movie as well. No one liked The Rise of Skywalker. It was an absolute shit show. And I felt like at that point in time, I'm like, finally, the fans that have been talking about this have been proven right. And I felt like we were going to get some change. And, of course, we had The Mandalorian, which it seemed like they were moving in a slightly different direction. But, of course, the firing of Gina Carano happened. And then they could continue to go down the wrong path with Disney Star Wars. And, of course, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, after it pretty much peaked with Endgame. And I know a lot of people didn't like Endgame. But in terms of just the box office performance and everything like that, I mean, personally, I think Infinity War was the peak for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But after that... It has just been downhill since, and it has shown no signs of improving, and it's not going to improve. And even when they start to change things up a little bit, it's only going to be temporary. Like Disney and Hollywood in general, they have absolutely no interest in correcting course. They are going to continue down this path, and there will be times where they dial it back a little bit because there's too much backlash, but ultimately their motivation is to con continue moving forward. And after you saw what happened with the Disney investor call today, which Valiant Renegade did a good job of covering, it's over. There's no saving this shit show. There really isn't. Um, that was an embarrassing situation with Bob Iger and all of his AI uh, questions that he was facing, uh, pre-screened AI questions that Bob Iger was having to answer. That was really embarrassing right there. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you going to respond normally? Because if you're responding normally, like Yahoo here is asking you to, the normal response would to be exactly what I tweeted right here. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Don't forget to go to MetaPCs. Check out MetaPCs and use the promo code 199 if you are interested in getting yourself a new PC. They are great. They do a great job. We appreciate them. And also go to GeeksGamers.com, our website, and make yourself an account. Get in 
into the forums, have discussions over there. We are currently re rebuilding the website, and I look forward to uh, launching that probably in about a month or two. Um, but in the meantime, we've got a lot of great articles over there and a lot of great discussions in the forums. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later.